Hello everybody, this is TT Lemon. Today you may recognise this room from Coop Hamster's last video and it is. This is a response to his, I've made an improved version of what he made here. His works, I've got my um, password that's 12345, I put that in, it accepts it, spits it back. If I put something wrong in, it will reject it and spit it back. You can see on mine here, I've got mine hooked up to the door now, so if I put in my sword, Nothing happens, it just gets spat straight back out at me. If I put my password incorrectly here, I get it back and it will open the door. And I'll just put it back and close the door again. Now if I give myself like, 10 swords, it'll even, it's got a clock on it so it will keep spitting them back if you put the wrong things in. So you can put as many wrong things as you, as you want in there and it will, it's got a little clock that will keep spitting them back out and once it's spat all the wrong things out it will um, accept it. So yeah, I'll now show you how it works. So first of all, this is the one Cube Hamster made, it's 4x5x6, by by yeah, which is pretty big for what it does and let's see, here's a mine is this, this is all the wiring for it and there's just that extra pink bit on the bottom there which is a T flip flop this is all the circuits here I managed to make it a lot lot more compact and the way I did that is one of the main things is instead of utilising an item elevator to get the stuff back to the top and then reusing this dropper here to spit your item back at you I just put another one at the bottom there so right there, so it will spit it back up there, it will always come to you, well all the tests I've done so that is how I've made it small, if you look on this one that's not there, it uses this one and that was the main way I did it, and also this clock on the top here is very compact and um, hopper design so essentially what this does is this comparator detects when there's items in here because if it's the correct answer it will just go straight through into this hopper which is the sorter system but if it just sits in there, this will turn on. This torch will turn off, which will allow this redstone to flip between these two, which powers the comparator, which powers the block, which is just spitting them straight back out of that dropper again. So I now build it up against this and show you how to make it. All right, to start off with, we're going to have our dropper like this, which will be our interface. And that just sits in a wall like this, and then you have some stairs like this just to cover the bottom and that's how it's going to be presented now first of all you need to place a dropper underneath that facing into that block and then another one facing the direction but first you need your dropper facing up into the stair like that it's crucial that it points upwards and then we just have another dropper pointing that same direction next we're going to take a comparator output from this hopper here like that into a block then down like this into two bits of redstone and then that can go into another comparator or a repeater if you're scarce on quartz into a line of redstone and a block so that's going to fire this um, dropper here to give you it back and also a torch here to lock this hopper Next we're going to do the return system which spits the wrong items at you so we need to take a, out, a comparator output from the dropper like this, you put a block there with the comparator then that goes into a block like that with redstone on and a torch on the side of that then place a hopper on top of there now we'll shift click a hopper onto there and then shift click, a hop, shift click another the hopper back onto there so they're facing into each other and that's essential so that redstone will flop between them. So if you put another comparator there, I'll just move the torch, show how it works, as you can see. Redstone just goes in between them, gives an output and fires that, and this just keeps that turned off. So yeah, this is just the entire circuit. If you want a T flip flop like I had hooked up on there, I just did a really simple thing. You need to make sure you're not taking output from there from this redstone you have to take it from one that's one further out than that like this and then just into a some repeaters into a 
piston and then just like that into a block with another piston on top and that will just spit out the block if you want to do that but the most crucial thing is to show you how to set up the actual password system of how to write them on so you can need an anvil for this and as QPAMP just showed maps are a really nice secure way of doing it I'm just going to get a stack of those and I'm not going to create them you can do that in your area I'm just going to name these so let's have the password of 54321 change it up a bit you can have any item you can name it anything and that makes it really really secure then you're going to just fill all those slots up except the first slot which you're going to want 18 items in so put 18 in there and then I'll just put my floor in try not to break everything like this and then you should just need to filter a, through these, a few of these through and eventually once it spits you one back like that then everything's set up. I'll just stick a note block on here so we can hear what's happening. Like that. And then get another item, let's say some redstone, so if you can hear, I put the map in. Or well, you can see the note block in the corner there going off. We've got um, an output from there. If we put something else in, like a piece of redstone, nothing happens. We can put lots of these in, and if, I, as I showed you earlier, this clock will run and just keep spitting all the incorrect items out. It won't let any through. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, and this has been TT Lemon. If you want to see more of my videos, subscribe and like it if you like it. Thank you.